Hi guys, how's it going? It's JP from Bax Music and today I'm having a look at the Superpuss analog delay. Um, this is from Way Huge Electronics and uh, it's a fairly new delay pedal in their line. Um, they've had lots of pedals in these size enclosures and these types and they've had a couple of delays before. But the Superpuss is essentially an attempt at a really well uh, all-rounded delay pedal, um, which is that one delay pedal on your board uh, with all the different options uh, from timing and meter options all the way to mix options and tone options in one pedal. So it's really quite helpful. Um, having a look at the pedal, uh, starting on the left, here is our on and off switch, and here is our uh, time and tap tempo. So you can see the uh, actual delay knob here. This will override that uh, if you wanted to set a different time. And you'll see that the LED here blinks at the time which I've set. And then if I choose to move the time again, it will go back to normal as per any other standard analog delay pedal. Um, we've got a depth here, which is the actual um, uh, depth of the effect itself. So you can get in a, an even deeper delay sound. Uh, it's like a, a mix control essentially, but there is an overall mix control between your wet and your dry signal. Um, we've got a speed here, which is the, the speed of the repetitions, uh, and also a gain and tone, which essentially are both uh, tone shaping options. You can enhance uh, the low and the high end using both of those controls. So it's a very expansive delay pedal. Um, on the top, you can see here, it's operated with a, a nine volt uh, power supply and can be operated by battery. You've got your in and your out, as well as an expression pedal. So if you'd like to have control, even more control over your time on the move, and you prefer to use an expression uh, foot switch, uh, as opposed to uh, using the tap time tempo, you're welcome to use that as well. So there's plenty of options here. Another thing to add is the, the feedback knob. So by pressing this, it will allow you to toggle between the different uh, meters so you can have your delay going just in standard quadrants all the way to triplets, which is a nice expensive feature. The feedback will control the number of repetitions overall, so you have all that control within one knob. Let's try some more playing with some heavier controls. So I'm going to bring the mix up so the delay is now nice and thick. I'm going to bring the tone up as well, so the high-end sparkliness of my tone is really coming out now. I'm going to add a little bit of depth as well, so we have a tiny bit of pitch change too. So maybe we'll get an interesting lead sound. Let's see how that sounds. I'm going to turn the delay time down a little bit more now so we get some nice snappy repeats. I'm also going to bring down the overall mix control so the actual guitar is going to breathe itself uh, a little bit more. Let's try a different form of repeat as well by doing things in, uh, in triplets. We'll get an interesting sound. It's a very nice full kind of cathedral sound which almost sounds like it's got a shimmer of reverb but that's because the, the depth control uh, is giving that little bit of a wobble, the pitch shift so everything is sounding a bit fuller now. Let's try looking at a couple different sounds. I'm going to put the feedback up so I have a lot more repeats now and I'm going to bring my delay overall a tiny bit up but mainly my mix, so I now have a very nice, thick delay sound.
thanks very much for checking out this demo. If you'd like to find out more about the pedal, you can click on the links above and below. And if you'd like to find out when we're next in town, you can click the subscribe button and check out the video. Thanks very much.